Okay, the plan for today is to uh, switch out the heads on my Yamaha Stage Customs. They're all birch, they're relatively new, uh, and I've still got the factory fitted uh, UT Remo Chinese made heads on, um, having taken a little bit of advice from a few of the guys on the forum and probably having ignored some of it. Apologies for those that that might apply to. Um, I found a good set um, of heads on Amazon. Uh, believe it or not, I was a little bit reluctant to buy from Amazon based upon the fact that I wasn't sure how they'd get here and whether they'd all get to me in one bit. But anyway, that aside, um, I bought Evans G1 um, coated and clear, uh, a set of three of each um, in kit form um, from Amazon, and it cost me £49 uh, plus about seven quid delivery because I wanted them today and it's Sunday after all. Um, um, so 50 some odd quid delivered um, for two complete sets for, for three toms, the 10, the 12 and the 16 I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to kick off with the 10 inch, I just thought I'd um, share that with you today. And um, Anyway, this is basically how the uh, tom sounds with the standard heads. Who knows, maybe I'll prefer the sound of the standard heads, but we shall see. But anyway, this is, uh, this is the 10 inch. Too shabby. So I'm then going to swap them out for the for the G1 again, coated on the batter head and clear on the reso head. So wish me luck. I should be back in a few minutes and we'll see how the how the Evans sound. Cheers, in. I'm sure what they look like. I'm sure you've all probably seen a set of these. I haven't. Um, comes in kit form. Level 360 Evans, and this is the G1 coated rock pack. I'm going to start off with the Rezo head, so this is what I'm going to put on the batter, but uh, I'm going to switch out and get the clear kit, and uh, anyway, I just thought I'd show it to you. They look pucker, there's nothing against about them that looks as though they might be bootleg or otherwise, not that I'd know, uh, but they did come from Amazon Direct, they were not from a, an Amazon seller, and that those are the areas that I believe people have had problems with in the past. Amazon tend to be pretty good. Uh, some of the uh, Amazon marketplace sellers can be allegedly uh, a little dodgy, but anyway, let's see. Ripping off the standard ones. So we need to go up a smidgen, I think. I'm going to use two keys. And I'm going to go up, I reckon, about a quarter of a turn on each. That's gone too far. I'm now at 154. Let me dip, mess around a little bit and I'll get it down to 131 and we'll see how it sounds. Right, that's now got it to 131 hertz. Sounds a bit rough. And now I'm going to do the lug tuning. Be back. Right, I've been right the way around the lugs and got the lugs all six spot on with the iDrum Tune app on the iPhone. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's uh, it's not bad. And it's now running at 131 and all lugs uh, are running equal. So, uh, there we go. I don't know whether you can see this. Let's have a look, see. 131 hertz. And now I'll flip over and we'll do the, uh, the batter head. Right, took a minute or two. I've now got the uh, eye drum tune. I think I'm now on the screen. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see that. They're all at 131 with no 
variances between any of the lugs. Hopefully my voice hasn't set any of the ones off beyond six. There's only six lugs on this Tom, so let's see how it sounds. Just to check the, uh, the pitch tuning. It's 131 and a half, so it's crept up a little bit. Right, let's see. Let's see how it goes in comparison to the uh, current tuning of the other tons. I will say the Evans heads do look quite smart, having been looking at clear heads, all the nuts and bolts and things inside my kit. So I've got my iPad monitoring what's going on for me camera. All kind of stuff actually, it's an iPad app that, that links up with my Lumix that allows me to see what's going on, see, that's me, on the camera that's over there. So anyway, this is what this thing sounds like. Hopefully you can still see me. Um, I've now done the um, the 12 inch Tom. Um, I must confess I'm tending to use the tune bot or the iTune drum, i drum tune, call it what you will, um, to get the fundamental frequency. I'm finding the lug tuning is a little tricky. Um, perhaps it's just me, perhaps I'm not using it right, but I'm finding the old fashioned method as uh, I saw on a YouTube video for drum workshop to just literally go Finding my ears are, are telling me um, they're not far from the truth, but anyway, I'm not sure. I'm still not convinced I've got the 10 inch right. That one sounds. Do you know what? I'm going to do this one again with my ears because um, I'm finding this one is spot on. Right, I've tinkered around with the 10 inch Tom and the 12 inch. And I've used my ears and I think they sound a little better. Tell me what you think. My wife's looking across the corner there, scornful of me. It's now uh, eight o'clock, and our dinner's been in the oven for about the last twelve hours. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure it will be fine. Uh, anyway, um, I've just about wrapped this up. The, the floor tom took an absolute age, and I'm still not sure I'm there yet. But um, I've done my ten inch, twelve inch, and sixteen inch, and I'm not sure that the frequencies are right. But I've done them according to uh, the Toonbot manual. So uh, anyway, the uh, I've only got one stick in me now. It's about another stick. 10 inch sounds a bit like this.
which took an age is so I'm not totally sure on the frequency of that one but I'm pleased with the way they're sounding so 